Hello everyone, today we'll talk about ankle socks. Today, ankle socks. First time ever, at least for me. My mom gave me a yarn ages ago and she gave me two colors that I knew that I'm going to add them together because they kind of remind me of navy, of water, of some kind of that theme anyway. This is what I left after I knitted it, uh, such a tiny little amount. Overall I had, if I remember right, 47 grams. I managed, I managed. I have a thought UK size 6, so that's 38, 39 European size, and this is what left. And to be honest, I don't have a clue what it is. It was just basically a ball and some leftovers, but I love it. Now, what kind of needles I used? I use DPNs for the first time, uh, 2.25 millimeter needles, US size 1 and I was able to test my lovely DPN's pouch with the clip. So what I can tell about these, well I did a bit of car knitting and I was really afraid that something is going to uh, go wild. Obviously during the car knitting uh, I dropped one, like normally I use magic loops so the you know I have a fine needles around I don't have to worry I basically pull the cord and that'll be it but not in this case I had to actually go and dig it out from under the seat so uh, that's that and second of all I was working with uh, I was working with three needles and the fourth one was the one that I was using so I tried to work on the triangle in a while because I kind of used to it that I have loads of stitches and I just go with the other stitches. He was a little bit, I was flipping too often and that was a little bit not something that I really like, I think. But yeah, but they're empty now and I definitely put something on them because why not? Gold. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, oh, and that's Knit Pro as inks, by the way, just if you don't know. Yarn, needle, bag. So the bag I used, I used this one. This is a long, large designs bag, and I love it. It's very summery, it's very outdoorsy, it's very be there and enjoy yourself, basically, because, yeah, life is messy. I love it. What else I found? I found tape. Did I use it? I don't even remember. Some markers, because you never know. And a piece of paper that I can write a note, and this is actually well, how many stitches I cast on for a toe um, and how increased this was going because these socks I made from the toe up. So I made up toe pattern and it's not that I'm sticking to it, I basically wrote it down because I was lazy to look it up and I don't have any pattern in mind that I should kind of follow. Basically I know it has to look kind of like a chopped triangular and that's what I was going at. So basically this is what I did. Then a pattern, I created, I wanted to create a wave structure and I did it on the actual chart and basically if you watch my episodes like podcasts you probably seen during one podcast I was showing this chart to you because you know if I post it I'll probably be free pattern. It didn't come up the way I wanted, it came up in a completely different way. So it looks like we have columns from like pearls and knits knits and there are kind of ways going through it so i really like it if you're interested i probably will post a free pattern it won't be test knit <laughs> so i presume i can do loads of updates on rivalry can i and uh but it's not done yet and i really want to use this bag and this needles and I won't do it unless I post this finished object video. <laughs> what I did, like I said, I can write down the toe, I can write it down the main pattern, but in regards um, heel, I use Fish Lips Kiss Heel, so I probably will change about that for the free one in the pattern and you can you can figure out yourself what you want to do. And basically then I did a ribbing to uh, buy two because I like this one and I cast it off. On the one, I cast it off with my standard that you just um, 
the knit and then you, you pass the sl slip stitch, well knit stitch over the other one. And then I figure out that it's too tight so I just basically knit two together on the other one and I think I liked it more. So this is knit two together and this is not and I feel a kind of string over here. Well I have a, I kind of feel it while I'm putting it on but once it's um, over my ankle I'm fine with it. I love the final effect, I love that stripe which you know I just played with the with the yarn and I'm delighted that um, I was able to knit them and I really like ankle socks and I'm not sure would I be brave enough to do it all the way around from up to toes um, but yeah I really like that would be my way to knit ankle socks from toes up just in case if I change my mind I will just keep on going basically I think that's all. I'm very happy that you can pop in over here and watch my short videos, which is my FO's finish objects, where I can talk a bit more about the project that I made. This one, as I said, I finished ages ago and I was just trying to find time to write a pattern and still don't have it yet. If I posted it now, day down below, probably it's not up there yet but I hope once I post it I'll give myself two weeks and I'll try to have it done expect loads of errors if you enjoy short videos like this please subscribe hit the like so I know you like it I do it like I said I like to sort things out about my knitting project so in the playlist if you go on YouTube you find a different place in regards to hats, scarves, socks, toys and so on and so so on. Go and check it out. Maybe one of the projects that I made, you'd be interested to make it too. On a daily basis, I'm quite addicted to Instagram, so you can find loads of photos in regards to my knitting adventure there, and some other things too. Sneak in a little bit there, so I hope you don't mind, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. It's a quick knit. I've never done these before. But I went from something that I know, I think three things, new three things in one project, that's enough.